Okay, I'm back again. I just wanted to share with you guys a way to sort of recondition your dead or dying nickel metal high drive rechargeable batteries or sealed lead acid. Uh, basically, how your battery dies is from normal use. You know, maybe you've had your batteries for a number of years and you've run a number of cycles through them um, and they just naturally start to uh, degrade and lose their ability to charge. Or two, maybe you've had your batteries for a little bit of time, but you've abused them, which uh, basically can happen simply by fully discharging them and then charging them back up. You never want to fully discharge a battery. You want to have at least about 20 or 30 percent of the overall charge at life uh, still available before you recharge the battery. And the reason you want to do that is because as you discharge a battery and charge it back up fully, uh, you know, there's a chemical re chemical reaction going on inside a battery. And what it's doing is it's moving uh, material back and forth. And slowly and slowly, uh, the material starts to fray off of the inside of the cells. I believe it's some type of a metal. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's copper or anything like that. I didn't take the time to look it up. But basically what it does is it collects on the ends of the batteries at the positive and negative leads after a while preventing the battery from charging and usually when that happens um, you'll start to see that decreased battery life you'll start to see 20 minutes worth of battery life out of your device instead of the hour and a half that it used to give you or you know um, the battery might not fully charge when you get it out of the charger and it's halfway dead uh, when you want to put it in your device and up until now um, there was no real way of reconditioning that battery basically uh, you threw the one out and went and spent more money on a new battery and possibly even a new charger if it had a different milliamp hour uh, from your current charger and that was costing you money but uh, as of today I found a new method and it actually works I actually tested it out I didn't find a method today let me correct that I found it about a week ago and what it is is it's basically freezing your battery cells and I've tested this out it actually works all you do is you get yourself a Ziploc bag, you put your batteries in there, it doesn't matter what size, what type, uh, as long as it's some sort of nickel cad, lead acid, or nickel metal hydride. You don't really want to freeze a lithium ion battery because you can do more damage than help. Uh, but after you put your batteries in the bag, put them in the freezer, uh, first you want to make sure all the air is out of the bag to prevent any type of condensation developing on the inside. Um, and you want to leave it in the freezer for about 16 hours. Once you do that, take the battery out of the bag, set it on the counter, let it thaw out, constantly check it to make sure it's not leaking or anything. Um, you know, and before you charge it, make sure the battery is at least room temperature. So you should probably wait a good hour to two hours um, for a normal size battery if it's a double A cell or a triple A cell, but if it's a larger battery. Uh, you might want to leave it for a longer time until it reaches that room temperature. So after you have it at room temperature, go ahead, charge it up, and you should see about a 60 to 70 percent increase in battery life over what it was right before it was about to die. You're not going to get 100 percent of your battery life back, but at least you'll still be able to sort of use these batteries for a little bit longer before you have to go out and buy a whole new battery set. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully it helps you out. It definitely helped me out. Um, this is just an example. I already put these two batteries in the freezer and put them in my LED flashlight. And before, like I said, you take them out of charge, they were 50% full and they wouldn't hold a charge for longer than two days. This battery has, well, both batteries have been out of the freezer for about four or five days now. And they're still holding the charge and flashlights working perfectly. So I hope that helped you out if you're if you have any dead nickel metal hydride, sealed lead acid, nickel cab batteries, go ahead and freeze those and maybe it'll work for you. See you guys later. Peace.